In this video, I will show you how to create simply PCBs like this in Fusion. First, we can delete all these examples and start from scratch. First, we can create new electronic design from here. And now we can create this new schematic. So now we are in this semantic window and first we can check that we have we should use this mill here and here so in fusion all these semantic components and symbols are made with these mills so it's a good idea to use these if you use millimeters here it might be hard to use some firings in this window. So let's set this here. And now we have these millimeters. Now we can search for some components. In this example, I'm using these connectors. I will be using this connector here. If you can see this connector, it might be because you haven't enabled enable this library. So if you can see this, you can go here and then search for connector. And you might have to enable some libraries here, example like this. So after that, you can double click here. And we can place these connectors here and there. Now we can first click there and we can rename this. So let's say this is input and here is the output. And now we can search for capacitors. And from here we have this electrolyte capacitor but we can click this and we can change like if we want to use this and again if you can see these capacitors you have to go here open library manager and uh, enable this library after that we can place it here and we can it's 4.7 micros and now we can click this and we can press ctrl c and ctrl v so we can copy these capacitors then we can search for leds and i'm gonna use this led or i will use some led which have this 3d model so let's see, there should be, so this LED chip, it has this 3D model, so I will use this now, and let's place it here, and then there was this diode, I'm gonna use this. Now we can move this little bit here. Now we can add these wires. For this, we have to use this mirror tool. So now we have these wires from this side. So we can place that there. And then we can wire all these capacitors here. And then we can, I think we have to rotate this component because it's opposite sign. So I will rotate this like that. And I have to also mirror this. So we have this symbols this side so it's easier to place that wire 
and if something like this happens we can click here and then drag it like this and we can drag this here and we could move this there and maybe from here so it looks better and we can place that there And now we can a little bit move all these because they are not looking very good. So something like this. And now we can save this. So now it is saved and we can click here and we can press this PCB document. Now we are here. Inside this I like to use this here this grid as millimeters. For me it's easier like this. And then we can drag these components like here and we can also draw like that and we can select multiple components then we can click this it's outline for this pcb so we can drag it here somewhere there we can move all these components a little bit and we can drag that there now here we can Press this rotate tool and check here is this 90 degrees and we can click here and rotate this and we can rotate that. Now we can place them somewhere here. I will place this 8 and throw this at 8. So if you can see that menu, so you have to click here and it's this inspector tool. And for this I will set this at 16 and also this for some reason effect. Okay, so now it's there and then we can put this here like this. Then we can rotate this down like that. And now we can press this Alt so we can move it like fine movements. And if we are not pressing Alt, it takes this bigger steps, which was one millimeter. And then we can rotate this and that and here. And also this one, something like that. And then we can place this here. And sometimes there is something like this, so we can just set that at 8. And all these, we can move them like that. And now we can add this wiring here or row root. From here we can change this trace wide. I'm using this 0 0.5. Then we can just draw these lines. So if we click here, we can see this wide air wire, and it means we are we have to wire this. And then this goes there, and this is here. And then we can track that somewhere there too. And then we have this one left here. And now that's like there. 
and now we can do we could go here and save this first and from here we can use this push to the 3d pcb and let's see how it looks So here we see all these components and we might want to move all this or some of this text somewhere else and we could also rename this LED here. So we can close this, we don't have to save that yet. And we can go back to here and we can click this LED. So it's named D1 which is a little bit odd because it's LED and not direct but we can write here LED and now if we save this it will update all these changes in all these other parts of this PCB so now if we go here here it says now LED and then we can move this LED here and this and let's move all these here this side and then i will also move this input here and let's place it there and this output there and there it is 11 something but it's measuring from it this different point so here output is this and here it's that so i think they are okay now then we can rotate all these text and we could move this little bit here now it's maybe somewhere same place then we can add here this meter tool so we can use this this one and we can add some radius here and if we use this it will make it like that arc corners so let's use that and then we can save this again And we can push to 3D model this. And here we have this very simply PCP.